the old guys back with an instruction on how to install OBS 30 beta and the streamer X in conjunction. This is set up as a streamer setup with the streamer X as a scene switcher directly into OBS via MIDI. And I'm setting up three scenes, one talking head, one top down, and the Mac screen, like this. That's it. Let's go. I'm setting this up on my wife's Mac just to show you on a brand new device. I'm putting the XLR microphone in the XLR input, my uh, camera, the CVE-10 in this in, and then I'm skipping the line out or the pass through because I'm monitoring on my Mac. And then I'm putting my Mac into this, and then I'm just downloading these three softwares. The OBS 30 beta and this MIDI plugin, and then the Rode Central. The Unify from Rode I'm not going to use because it just makes it all complicated. But these three softwares I'm downloading, and I'm putting a link in the description on all three from reliable retailers. I'll show you these um, LUTs I made. I just put them on the on the desktop. They are pre-made and um, I will uh, share them with you in a future video. But I have to show you how to apply settings in your cameras too. Or else you'll not get the best result. But now let's install um, the software. We'll start by going into downloads and then choosing the Road Central as the first software and starting the install. During these installs you'll have to allow these programs to access a lot of things on your Mac. Just let them. And here's the keyboard setup. Skip that because you won't be able to set it up on a Mac. I just remove all the things when I'm done with them and then I'm docking all the programs I'm going to use, the Road Central and later on the OBS version 30 beta. And again I'm allowing all the access because we need to to make this work. Now we're just going into the Road Central, showing you the MIDI setup. We have to set up the pads for MIDI. I already set up the four pads And now for the MIDI plugin, we have to go into system settings and we have to go into privacy and security. Scroll down and here we see it and just open it anyway. And then you have to allow it one more time. Then it starts and we have all installed. I've set up the road sensor as I like it and showed you that we have to set up the pads for MIDI. Then we'll open the OBS 30 beta software and put that into the dock too. It needs to be allowed to access everything again. You just go with it. But remember to restart the OBS software when you're asked to. I skip it now because I think I can do it later. But then I didn't get to reset it and it, the OBS crashes. You'll see later. But don't worry, you just open it one more time. Now uh, I'm trying to set up the YouTube streaming. We just have to allow a bunch of stuff again. Here when it, here is when it happens to crash. I have to force quit it. And when I open it again, I, I just have to run the the stream connection to my account again, and then it works like this. YouTube. And then there's a connection. So I would recommend you to restart when it asks you to the OBS software. And now you have the prompt for chat and you have the window 
for the linking. We can shut them down, but find them again in the docks, like this. And now you have to reconnect to your device again, or your account in YouTube, just to be sure you're, you're the right person, like this. Now you're connected. And then we go and set up a scene. And uh, in this software you do it from left to right, just like when you're reading or writing. We'll make a new scene and call it Talking Head. That's our main scene with the camera that goes through the, through the streamer. And we'll delete the first scene that was generated by default. And we'll start with the, with the microphone, because the sound is the most important that what we're going to use in every scene. It's the same sound, the same microphone. We're going to call this the Streamer X, because my pod mic is connected to the XLR in the Streamer X. Streamer X audio. We're going to find the streamer main and use that. And now we got the, we're going to boost it 10 decibels because I found that it's the best way to handle this mic through the streamer. Then we're going to set up the video source. It's the CVE 10 going through my streamer X2. So I'm going to call it streamer X video and find the streamer X. And then we got the picture. Okay. It's a little bit desaturated this picture. So we're gonna put the lot on now, the one I showed you before, put on my desktop. We're gonna right click or double click on a Mac and find filters and LUTs. Apply LUT, we're gonna call it CVE 10 because that the camera LUT I'm gonna use, that's the camera I'm gonna use the LUT for, and it's made for that. We're gonna find it on the desktop, allow again to access the desktop and take the CVE1 LUT. Then it's a little bit saturated, you can turn the LUT uh, strength down, like this, and then you got a saturated and contrasty picture. We make a new scene and call it top down. And we'll reuse the mic, we'll just copy it from the other scene and paste it into this new one. Boom, we got the mic in here with the 10 decibel boost already because it's copied. And we'll find a new camera, the M100 I got as a top down camera. And this camera is connected via a cheap capture card. You'll see it now when I pick the camera, a USB, USB video it's called, and it's connected via this cheap capture card, around $20 I paid for it. It's fine for the quality that the M100 puts out. And we'll put a lot on this too. Right click and go into filters and apply a lot. Call it M100. Just for reference, you can call things whatever you like. Browse the desktop, find the pre-made M100 LUT and apply it. Adjust it to taste. Done. Now we got two cameras set up, but I want to have a little talking head, so I copy my talking head video from the other scene, paste it in here, and adjust the size and the placement. So I got a little talking head. Every time I use the top down to show you a device, I have a little talking head in the left corner. Now the main camera on this scene, the M100, is kind of turned upside down, so we have to turn it 180 degrees. We do that by right-clicking the camera and go up to transitions and down to 100 degrees turn. Then we, we are 
turning the camera the same way as I'm turning and I'm showing you the stuff. Now I'm going to show you how to pick OBS software as a camera for your um, streaming devices, like the FaceTime. You have to start a virtual camera in the OBS for the apps to be able to see it. But here's the difference between 29 and the OBS version 30. In version 30 of OBS, all apps can use the virtual camera. In version 29, this was a problem. Apps like the FaceTime couldn't recognize it. Now I'm going to show you uh, how to set up the pads. Use the plugin you find in Tools, in the menu bar, and you're pointing on it by making a binding. And you choose the binding, and you, you listen once, and when you push the listen once, you push the pad you want. Now I'll show you in the software. One more time. One more time. I already set these pads up for MIDI triggers. When I push them, it it lights up in the software. Now we create one more binding. We just wanna tell this binding what to do. And it's the talking head, the first binding. The next binding, we're gonna make the top down. We're gonna listen, push the button, then it's connected. When you push the button, it's gonna activate this scene switching as we set it up for. And this one we set up for top down scene switching when the button, button is activated. Now we, got now we got two scenes we can switch between. As you see over at the right in the software, it lights up when I push it and it also changes the scene when I push it. We're gonna make a third scene. I like to have this. It's uh, just a picture of the Mac screen. So we call it Mac screen. And you find this in the source menu as, uh, oh, now we're just gonna the mic like before copy and paste it and then you find it has its own little built-in Mac screen capture you can just take that and use that then you capture the Mac screen it's built into OBS and I just captured the screen in original resolution Now I'm, now I'm going to show you how to change the pads from something else to MIDI. I'm going to choose the pad and then I'm going to go to MIDI. And yes, I'm going to override. Trigger 4 be the activator of this scene switching. I'm going to create a binding again, a new binding. And I'm gonna listen after this binding, and then I'm gonna push the trigger four. You see it over at the right, it lights red, and then we have the connection between the trigger and this software. We're gonna make it scene switching again. And the max screen scene. And then I can change between all three scenes. We're gonna go into settings because I like to be sure the settings are like I, I want them to be. Output is fine. And I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna make it hardware encoding instead. And because the new Max, M Max, I great at this. And then I'm gonna disable the generic mic because I want to use the mic I plug into the Streamer X. In video, I'm gonna make 
at all 1080p. 1080p is, I think, the best balance between latency and quality. It's not too hard on your system. Now we're gonna go back to the talking head scene. And we are gonna start a streaming now. Manage the broadcast. But before we do anything else, we're gonna start up the YouTube streaming from YouTube. Logging into our account and finding the create new button and then starting a stream. And we're gonna make it stream with software and we're gonna take the schedule stream. I already made a stream, I can just copy this. And I just have to delete or rename the title and delete the description and make a new one. All the other thing I set up I'll leave the same because they worked. You're gonna select streaming software as streaming source because we already set the OBS up for, for that one. Everything else you just decide. If it's for, for kids or not for kids, if you want it to be private or public like I do, it's up to you. And then we're gonna start the stream. But before we start the stream, now we set up the scheduled stream. Then we have to go back to the software OBS and find the stream. And we can do that under start streaming, manage broadcast, lost like I showed before, but then we select existing broadcast, the one we made in the YouTube studio. And start it in the bottom and then we go to the YouTube it can take a little while before they find each other so be a little patient yes and now it came and then we can go live by pushing the go live button you can watch this one minute stream and you can watch a prior stream my first ever stream stream for the first time without a safety net and without any prior experience to this streaming thing for a more full-fledged experience buy from the old guy